Hello there. As the title of this video suggests, this is how I go about making my uh, broken render or broken plaster. Um, I used it quite quite a lot on the uh, Ten Rillington Place house. There's all broken plaster there and on the side of the house and uh, out on the other side. So it uh, it looks um, looks very impressive. The uh, almost any World War II diorama building has some kind of broken plaster on it. Uh, any of these plastic buildings that you buy, uh, they've all got broken render, broken plaster. So it uh, it's a handy thing to to know how to do. So this is my version anyway. Uh, I use. Uh, three millimeter cardboard I know the material of the day is styrofoam uh, but I live in Thailand and although I can buy styrofoam it is very very expensive uh, but a sheet of um, a, a quite a big sheet of three millimeter cardboard cost me the equivalent of a pound or one and a half dollars so and, and, and in a sheet I can make four or five buildings uh, any amount of uh, things to, to, to make in, in just from one sheet so it's very very inexpensive uh, so anyway what we do two pieces of cardboard uh, mark out what shape of uh, the uh, broken render you want it to be uh, something like that and then cut that out uh, not easy cutting three millimeter cardboard I must admit but uh, Keep at it <laughs> with a very sharp knife and you, you'll get through. Uh, so that's what we end up with, something like that. Uh, stick the two pieces together. So we've got the backing uh, for our brickwork in the middle there. And then we can do well, whatever we like on the outside there for uh, representing an outside wall or an, an inside, uh, inside room. So once we've done that, uh, what we need to do, because we're making the bricks with um, with uh, tile grout, uh, tile grout will not stick to cardboard. Uh, and once it's dry, it'll just just drop off. So uh, we need to put um, a coating of. I've got a, a mixture here of um, just ordinary wall filler. Uh, in there uh, with just a very small amount of water where are we going I'll mix that up um, once we've got a coating of that I'll just mix that it just seems to be about right once we've got a coating of that on the uh, on the workpiece when that's dried that will enable the uh, the grout to key into and it will uh, dry and, and stay on you don't want your bricks falling off so put a coat of that all over so the uh, the filler that will go where the bricks will be in the middle will give a key for the bricks to, to, to actually stick and then the uh, the coating of filler on the outside for the wall I'll give it a, a slightly thicker thicker coat so it will give it a a nice uh, <laughs> can't think of the word it'll give it a nice a nice base for uh, dry brushing. brushing. Um, without it, if you paint cardboard, it looks like when you've finished painted cardboard. But when you've got uh, a bit of uh, filler on it like this, especially when you come to dry brush, it'll give it uh, some highlights you'll be able to uh, see the highlights of uh, of the uh, 
brick wall. So that's all we need to do. It won't take long to dry. Just put a bit more up there. I'll give that uh, 15 minutes to dry and then we'll carry on. So 10 minutes have passed. The uh, plaster is, uh, has dried. Uh, you can see the texture on the, the actual wall now. So that will be <clears throat> a little better when we paint that. And we've got a base now for uh, for our grout, which I'll mix now. So we just need a little bit of grout there. Don't need too much. And a small amount of water. Mix that together. Not enough water. It's like okay, I'm talking to myself. That's looking better. <laughs> okay, too much water. That's okay, maybe just a little bit more powder. And of course the beauty of uh, grout is that it comes in different colours. You can have whatever colour you like. Black, white, brick colour, grey for stone. You don't need to... Uh, well, you could get away with not painting at all. Just choose the, the colour grout that you like. There we go. So now we can... area and spread that out perfect that's all we need to do okay that's that So we filled in the uh, the cracked area. Now we need some water and just going out from the center otherwise you'll pull the grout away from the edge of the, the crack. So by doing it this way, we can uh, put too much on them. So keep doing that for three days. Yeah, it doesn't take long. There's too much grout now on the on the actual wall. <laughs> this does work, honestly. Ah, colour of the wall is starting to come through. It doesn't really matter. You could uh, you could leave it like this. We've got to paint paint whatever wall colour you want anyway. There, you see, I'm not lying. So now we've got a perfect base now for uh, carving our bricks. There, that's looking better. That's it. So uh, now we've got and and doing that will will automatically lower the level of the brick 
to the plaster, which is what we're after. Because uh, th th that's what happens. You've, you've got thick plaster over wall and it's broken. So you're going to see a thickness of plaster and then, then the wall beneath. So uh, it's a win-win situation. So now we'll let that dry for maybe half an hour. That's all it needs. And then we'll carve out the bricks and that'll be a done job. So I'll be back in a moment. So the grout has dried for about 20 minutes, that's all. And it's now uh, just dry enough to be able to, to carve the, the, the uh, lengths of brick into, uh, into the surface there. I'll, I'll, it's not easy to do like this, I would need it to be a lot closer, but just with a, a sharp barbecue stick. Just keep uh, all the way down, marking out the uh, the rows for each brick. Uh, then give it another five or ten minutes, and then you'd be able to mark out the the uh, individual bricks as you would with any other, whether you're using styrofoam or clay or whatever. Just mark out the uh, the bricks on there. So I'll do that and uh, be back in one moment. So I've marked out all the bricks and uh, don't forget how small a house brick is in 135 scale. They're very very small so you don't want like just half a dozen bricks behind the broken plaster. It has to be a lot, <laughs> a lot of bricks. If you look at the plastic uh, kits that you can buy the, the size of the bricks on those kits are they're just tiny so so very small very difficult to model uh, if you don't use those but uh, as you can see uh, that's not too bad they're pretty small small size there so I'll let this dry which will take a few hours now and then uh, we'll carry on from there Okay, so now the uh, the brick has dried, and it feels like brick to the touch because because that's what grout is. It's ground up brick, so uh, you you can't get much more realistic than than the real thing. So there we are. There's our bricks. So we need mortar in between the bricks. So I've got some uh, some filler and uh, a little bit of water in there. So if I add it. A little tiny bit of um, black paint to that. That will give me a nice grey mortar to go between the bricks. Maybe a bit too much water. Oh, that's okay. There we is. So that can go in between our bricks. Making sure all the spaces are filled. Can you see? Let's move house back there we go so all we've got to do now is wipe off the excess reveal our finished brick <laughs> he said hopefully so 
so there we are mortar in between the bricks that will dry now and uh, I can paint the bricks accordingly and paint the outside uh, to what uh, the outside of the building or the inside uh, room would, would, would look like but that's basically the idea that's the, the, the finished one again looks a bit better and this was just an idea I had as well just a, a, a bombed brick wall there with uh, broken render on the on the front but that's uh, the basic idea anyway that's that's how I do it so uh, if you have any comments or you like the video or would like to subscribe that would be even better then please do so uh, and I'll be back with another video very very soon thanks for watching